Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that I see as a comment regularly, and I've had also as a um, comment um, about somebody asking that question, um, you know, when you buy a new PC, um, so you have the choice of getting a new PC that will say it's Windows 11 ready, which means it actually comes with Windows 10. You actually have the ability now to buy a PC with Windows 11 already pre-installed. And the question that is for many is, I have a very, very uh, latest technology PC. Why is it am I having some issues? And remember one thing. Manufacturers, when they actually build a new computer, they, of course, do have some testing going on. But... The very latest technologies often have a need to be tweaked a little. There will be some BIOS updates. There will be some driver updates. And oftentimes, a new PC doesn't have... Um, it's not Windows that has problems with that brand new PC. It's the brand new PC's hardware that is still not tweaked. And depending on what you do with your computer, the hardware might not still have the best drivers around. Um, you know, when we say we, we get the latest, greatest, we always, f you know, think of, well, that must be great to have Windows running on the latest hardware of all. Problem is, it's not been tested very long. That's why buying a PC that's been around for a year is often a better choice. You can still buy it with very, um, you know, modern technology, even though it's not necessarily the latest but at least it had time to settle down. The manufacturer had time to um, go and, of course, um, tweak the drivers. And often, the first thing that's going to happen when you actually put that machine on the Internet is going to tell you, there are driver updates. You need to update a lot of stuff here. If you have a very latest technology and it doesn't work well, uh, chances are... You know, PCs that have hardware issues, it, it does exist. And every manufacturer has a one model that is known to be a bad PC. And, and of course, in, in the middle of all sorts of different other models that are great. Um, remember that the first thing that you should do when you get that new PC and you have that Windows installed is to go to the manufacturer's website download all the latest drivers and BIOS updates that they have made available. They have done so because most of the time there's been some bugs and crashes and problems. They fixed those with each update. And immediately that should all, you know, kind of help. But if you still have some issues, it's possible that some of the drivers still need to be tweaked and that over the months and weeks your machine will be more and more stable because the manufacturer will have fixed the problems that it actually sees. Even though there's internal testing and the big manufacturers, that, ma that testing isn't a real-world test with millions of machines and people with different software and different hardware plugged to the USB ports and so on. So, you know, often the brand, the newest technology will go through a pace of, of, of almost, you know, testing again with the real world. But that's why, you know, in my case, if I buy new technology, I won't buy the latest, latest, latest available. I'll buy something that's fairly new, fairly powerful, but that's been around for several months uh, so that we could see how it was tweaked and all the updates have fixed some of the early bugs. Most manufacturers, when you look at your model number and you go to the manufacturer's website and look at the support pages, you'll notice that the people that were the first to buy it when it was actually brand new on the shelves are the ones that have the most problems. But as time goes by, of course, like I said, they fix those and people get you know to a point where they're happy with their machines. So when I see people ranting as well, I've got the latest, latest hardware of all, and it's very powerful and it crashes, Windows has problems, um, 
chances are 99% of the time the manufacturer has goofed up with drivers and problems, not Windows. And I'll say it again and again because that's exactly what happens. Windows is responsible for less than 1% of all issues that people see. 99% is hardware problems, driver problems, software that you've installed that actually is causing problems. And a lot of people install too many software uh, when you don't need it. You know, like say it again, optimizers of any kind, you don't need that. You don't need a third party antivirus. You don't need all of that extra. It actually just increases the risk of having problems. Um, because 99% of the time, it's that extra that is the problem, not Windows itself. But latest, greatest is not always best for operations. So um, if you have bought a new PC, it's got Windows 10 on it, and it says it's Windows 11 ready, don't go rush and update to Windows 11 from, you know, force upgrade. Wait for it to appear in the Windows update. One thing for sure is that in Windows updates, um, most new new machines, you will often see that it's not even being offered. Why? Because it's still going to wait for you, the hardware to settle down and the drivers to be updated. And at some point it shows up. So that's also something to remember. It might be Windows 11 ready according to the manufacturer, but if it doesn't show up in Windows 11 in, in Windows Update, then Windows 11 is not totally ready yet for you. Just wait for it to appear and don't force it. And at the end, once again, if your machine came with Windows 10, hey, you got Windows 10. That's going to work until the end of 2025. You don't have to go crazy over that. It doesn't matter. Eventually, I'll move on to Windows 11, and that's it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.